Good. Proceed to the main stage and stand on the podium. There's an old friend waiting for you there already. We have to be on the lookout for Antonovsky. Do you ever just stop? We won. So smile. Okay, don't smile. Creeping me out. It's showtime. Welcome, everyone, to the Detroit Arms Expo, where we will show you the newest, hottest advancements in urban warfare. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please, before we proceed, let's take a moment to honor the man who made all of this possible. So join me in a minute of silence. Now, let's start the party. OCP has always been the pioneer pushing the limits of what's been possible in security technology. Those efforts gave us RoboCop and RoboCop 2. That's right. But much like our late CEO, RoboCop is the past. We need to look at the future. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present OCP's newest achievement, the UEDs, Urban Enforcement Droids. A reliable solution to crime with the push of a button. UEDs will be exclusively protecting the streets of Detroit since the police left the citizens of our city to the mercy of the criminal element by going on a strike. But no need for alarm, UEDs are ready to patrol the city today. Today will be their first major test, the protection of the mayoral election rally. Now, let's open up the floor to the questions. I'm sure you're dying to hear more about my robots, yes? I have a question for RoboCop. In view of the police strike, do you think these new robots are actually capable of protecting the city? The police did not strike. We were fired. The police left because they felt threatened by the UEDs. And rightfully so, my machines are superior in every way. A presentation is in order to show that those are not just empty words. I have another question for Robocop. It's about the candidates for mayoral elections. Who cares? It can't even vote in the damn thing. It's just an OCP product. There are a lot of people that value his opinion. Polls showed that Robocop's words and actions have influenced ratings for both candidates several times already. So, Robocop, could you give us all a definite answer and put our minds at ease? Is Mills' promise to grant you and all future cyborgs human rights enough to earn your support? Knowing you'd possibly get your freedom back? Freedom to do what exactly? Get back with his family? Start a business? Join a bowling team? Or will you? Contrary to your creator's interest, encourage people to vote for Mayor Kuzak, OCP's loudest adversary. I support no one. That's surprising. Based on your earlier comments, many people came to the conclusion that you were siding with Mills. But I think we can take your statement as a withdrawal of support. Well, there you have it. Now we can get back to why we all gathered here. My robots! It's time to present what these bad boys are capable of, huh? I just need to find... the remote. And where did I put it? Is... is that normal? Huh? I... It's just a prototype. No need to worry. More will come. What the hell are you talking about? What was that? All of you need to leave. What is happening? I lost my 
smoke, that's what's happening. Contain the Did you remember? No, oh, damn it. But there's another way. We can't control them, but we can make them stop. Take me to the Expo Depot. The entrance is through Hall C. I'll open the gate. Just clear the space. The code doesn't work. Luckily, I'm the one who sold them this garbage, so I know what to do. Just destroy the fuse box, and the gate will open. Do it! What is your plan? I give the orders and you follow them. Maybe it'll work that way for once. Okay, since I open the gate, you clear the way to Hall C. I remember differently. Your memory is glitchy. are my tickets straight to the CEO's chair. This EMP device, how does it affect me? Don't worry, nothing will happen, to your brain at least. And that's the part you cherish the most anyway. You'll be fine. Pave the way to the depot and don't bother your head with that. We don't want your wiring to burn. Why is this device starting on That thing was my idea. First, then we have a device that disables the robots to the...
afraid. Even if the EMP device fries your circuits or something, is it really such a big sacrifice to stop this mess? I figured I'd meet you here, Robocop. Seems like you two have a lot to talk about. I don't want to be in your way. Nonsense, Mr. Becker. Since I have you here, thank you for providing me with this little thing. I was looking for a loyal partner. I was hoping it would be Robocop, but your droids will have to suffice. No problem. And thank you for choosing OCP. Now that my work is done here, so I'm just gonna get... The... Robocop, now that the old man doesn't need you, I don't need you. Keeping you alive this long was a mistake. Let me erase that mistake! <laughs> Sorry, I won't be staying to witness this. I need to start packing up the toys. Take care of him. Alex Murphy, we have to fix you. We have to erase you. We must erase you. It's actually impressive how stubborn you are. At the same time, oh, it's heartbreaking knowing that you never could have won. Oh, your creators made sure of that. That chip, OCP implanted in your brain. The one that was supposed to help you. It served as my collateral. It made sure that you could never touch me. 
It's activated with this. Oh, but I'm sure you already put that together. The old man wanted me to use it sparingly, as long exposure would melt your brain. Oh. Now that's a visual. But since the old man's gone, I can do whatever I want. We packed everything, sir. Splendid. Duty calls. But I'm leaving you with something to remember me by. Good night, Murphy. Oh, it's been exhilarating. Now it's time to take what's mine. The city of Detroit. Nice. You're leaving us again?